In a world where we lie defensively all the time, it's difficult to uh, trust other people and it's difficult to be honest with other people and that creates a terrible vicious circle where uh, nothing really gets done and there's no communication. We're all afraid to communicate with each other because we're afraid, you know, someone's going to be dishonest with us or uh, not be straight with us or hurt us in a backhanded way. And uh, as a result, we may be we may be dishonest with them. Um, the person that I've been dealing with for the past nine months, um, she told me that her phone was broken several times, and that was her excuse for her not to take my calls. That was her excuse for uh, not calling me, and I know this because. She told me she was going to call me last week, and she didn't. She didn't call me all week. And even even uh, someone stood up for her to me and said uh, that she had a lot going on and that she's an adult, and she doesn't have to call me all the time. And I had to defend myself and tell him, listen, I don't expect this person to call me all the time. You know, that's not... The point, the point is she doesn't have to call me and she's not being straight with me about it. She's, you know, making up excuses that she doesn't have to make up because she doesn't have to call me. And I looked at her and I said, right. And she's like looking at me all incredulous. And I'm saying, you don't have to call me if you don't want to. I just wish you'd be honest with me about it. I've known you for nine months now, for God's sake. So, um, now I had to shut down my voicemail because I don't want her to I don't want her to even have my phone number anymore. But I don't want to change my phone number because if I do that, I've got uh, institutions and businesses and things that require me to use my phone number to log in, and I don't want to. That's going to cause me more problems than, than it's worth. So I need to keep my phone number. But I did turn off my voicemail, and I blocked her. So the phone doesn't ring. If she tries to call, the phone will not ring. I will not hear it. If she tries to call and leave a voicemail, she won't be able to because it's not set up anymore. And then there's my dentist. They told me that my insurance had not informed them of an approval of a tooth that needs to be worked on, that they say needs to be worked on. And uh, they insisted that there was no record of Dentical approving a tooth. I called Dentical last night and they said that it had been approved, so the dentist is lying to me. My plan for that is to finish the treatment that they say was approved, but after that, go to another dentist. I don't feel like being vulnerable with them and sit, even sitting in their chair to have uh, treatment done on the stuff they have to finish. I don't even feel comfortable doing that. But if I uh, run away from them and not even get the other treatment done, I'm going to make things harder on myself. I've been needing to have a crown replaced for the past uh, six months. And I think I'm, you know, I need to have that done. I need to have um, a crown placed that um, hasn't gotten placed yet. So I'll get those two done. But this other one that they say needs to be uh, taken care of, they said that it hasn't been approved, and Denical says that it has. Then there's my van driver going to the IOP. He's been taking days off lately and turning me over to drivers that don't call me and don't uh, let me know when they're coming. And my phone number is blocked from the IOP. There's, it's still blocked, and their excuse is, Oh, we're, we're busy. The lines are tied up. No, they're not. I get a busy signal and I get put on hold um, by the by the by their computer system at all times, except when they're closed. So people lie all the time and there's distrust and we lie because we don't trust each other. I'm speaking in general now. We lie because we don't trust each other, and we don't trust each other because we lie. We lie defensively. 
I don't know if defensive lying is a word in psychology, but I'm making it up. There might be another word, you know, said by uh, people with degrees in psychology, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It's a vicious circle. If we can't be honest with each other, we're going to continue to distrust each other on a gover governmental level, on a political level, on a social level, and on a personal level. You know, if we can't be straight with one another and say, uh, I don't want to call you, I don't want you to call me, or, or uh, oh, um, I better look deeper into the insurance and see if, uh, you you know, I better call your insurance and, and find out, you know, if uh, something is covered or not, something's approved or not, or I better uh, unblock your phone number from the system so that you can call in and find out when your driver is coming. No, they don't want to do that. They they want to they want to hide from me and lie to me and be dishonest. And I don't trust them, so I don't feel like being honest with them. I feel like just taking my ball somewhere else and saying see you later, you know, and I don't feel like even uh, communicating why anymore cuz I've tried to with all three of those places and people. I've tried that. I tried with uh the person that I'm dealing with personally. I told them uh, they don't have to call me. I told the dentist it has been approved and you say it hasn't been. Um, I tell the drivers and the IOP people, you blocked my, I have reason to believe you blocked my number and you won't unblock it. So, um, you know, what kind of world is this? You know, we lie because we don't trust and we don't trust because we lie. God, just giving you guys something to think about here. Have a good day. Be safe.